Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm sitting down and I'm showing you accessories. You know my style is all about um, simple outfit but with like great materials, like good quality items, but like very simple and clean. And then I really love adding standout accessories, mainly designer accessories. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you my top six winter designer accessories. Accessory number one, let's start from a black handbag. So if you um, want to invest in a designer handbag, I always say and I think that your first one, it should always be black. It's just because it's the one that you're gonna get the most use out of it. Lately, since really like winter started since I started to wear uh, big coats um, I found myself to wear the YSL Lulu Puffer so much and this is the toy version like so the smallest one and also the one with the best price. This is around the uh, 1400 euros price point so um, within all my designer bags is one of the most affordable and I think it is such a good everyday bag, it's very sturdy, it's durable and I was um, quite surprised because it's a toy bag so I thought it's gonna be very small but actually it does fit all your essentials and the reason why I wanted this bag to be the first of my winter accessories that I want to recommend is because strap it is actually long enough to wear over your big coats so that's why it's the one I've been wearing the most for like everyday looks and a plus of this bag is that the strap it is easily removable and then you can just also use it as an evening bag so it's like this and you can wear it you know under your shoulder when you're wearing like an evening dress so I think it is one of the most versatile handbags I've ever owned and I thought the price point is great if you don't want black it comes in many other colors if you don't want the toy it comes also um, in a bigger size so I just think it's like a great bag. If we want to go a little bit more into details, so it is made of calf leather and then you have this sort of like vintage gold YSL detail in the logo in the front and then same with the hardware that you have all over um, and then you have two compartments inside and also a zip pocket at the front I don't know if you can see it but you have this sort of like all um, little pockets looks like inside there is like a sort of like card holder built in so I think it's super handy um, and it is big enough to so I have for example the big uh, iPhone um, Pro and it does fit the phone inside um, so this is always my limit with small bags it needs to at least fit my big phone and then you still have space inside for a card holder you can't really fit a big wallet but I don't use it anyway so for me um, it doesn't matter and you can still fit, um, so you can put your cards in, your card holder, you can still fit your keys, some makeup, you know, your daily essentials if you don't carry a lot. For me, the best feature of this bag, it is this long strap that, by the way, it is adjustable. And for me, it fits over my big coats and I still have two holes. I'm just gonna quickly also give you the uh, measurements. Um, so the height of the bag, it is 14 centimeter. The width, it is 18 centimeter. And then it is seven centimeter depth. And uh, the shoulder strap length, that I think is like very important. Um, so if you put it like as a minimum, it is 111 centimeter and you can make it um, you can adjust it longer up to 
129 cm. It says it's suitable for large smartphones, um, for example, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is the one I have. So, yeah. This was accessories number one. Accessories number two, of course, winter shoes. So I know that everyone obsess over Ugg boots, and, um, but I always go for the Moo, that I think it is pretty much the same concept of the Ugg, but I see the Ugg as a bit of a more, like, of a younger choice, while I think the Moo, in terms of details, are a little bit more classy, if you know what I mean. So you have um, their signature stitching all around and I really like the contrast of, you know, the color. And then you have the logo at the back that is um, made of sort of like sparkles. And inside it is all completely lined of um, sheepskin. So, you know, it is the perfect everyday, very warm winter boots that I think everybody should own. So these are just above 200 euros, while I think I was looking online, the UGG, you find very different prices on a lot of websites. I found them between 160 and just below 200 euros, so it is not a big difference but this one has much more details so for example I really like to I wear this with jeans with skirts as well with like thick tights I also wear them with the black or like any color leggings really it is like my go-to winter boot and so I went this is my favorite I went for the camel shade because it's the one that fits my wardrobe the best. I also like the beige ones. This length it is called Eskimo 18 but if you prefer for example like higher or like they even have it like as like a knee boots they also have like more of a sneakers they have so many styles but this is just like the most classic ones and also one of the best the better priced and um, also like, yeah, just take a look because there are like so many colors, so many styles and it is, you know, a must have winter everyday boot. Next up, they kind of go together, of course, it is gonna be gloves and scarf. So since last year, I discovered these Max Mara mittens and I'm obsessed every time I put them on Instagram, everyone, you know, goes and buy them and they're like obsessed. I'm wearing the medium large, so because I'm tall, like in general, like my hands are quite big. And I love that you can wear them around your neck. So it is, you know, also like an accessory. So I really love them. So they are called uh, Max Mara Ombrato Camel Hair and Silk Mittens. So it is the same um, fabric basically of the Max Mara Teddy Coat. So I have the Teddy Coat, the mittens and the shoes as well. I wear them over like any coat, not just with the Teddy. Of course, if you match the gloves with the Teddy shoes as well, it looks really nice and chic. I will link the shoes for you as well if you want to take a look. I love the combination. Um, but, you know, you don't have to wear them together. And they come in different colors. So I went for the camel because, you know, a lot of my accessories are camel. So I felt that also the camel would match a lot of my coats. Uh, but they also come in basically all the colors of the teddy. So you have like pastel colors, you have them in, you know, black, white. The only thing with this, um, if you like them, get them as soon as possible because they sell out. They come back every year, Max Mara keeps making them, it's a classic, but um, when really the winter and the cold hits, they tend to sell out and then you have to wait for next year. In terms of price, they are just above 150 euros, so I think it is also such a nice Christmas gift. 
um, if you're looking for ideas and what I love it is of course the string that you wear it around your neck and then you have this gold uh, they have all gold details so the string is leather and then you can easily take it off so if sometimes you don't want to wear it with the string you just you know remove it and you don't even see it like they're really extremely well made but personally I always wear it with a string because I think it is such a really nice um, you know accessories to have on top of your coat it looks really nice and I just wanted to confirm yeah I'm wearing size medium large they're not huge so they are just fit just right they're not too big and then inside it is 100% virgin wool so inside it looks like this super soft and warm next um, accessory it is scarves so I have two because it's my current favorite ones I couldn't choose when it gets really cold um, you don't really show your outfit underneath so everyone when you walk down they're just gonna see your coat your shoes and your accessories so that's why I think good accessories becomes even more important in winter all year long really um, accessories is my thing but I think in winter especially you know this is what people see this is a lowy um, scarf the fabric composition it is a mohair and wool uh, blend and I went for the sort of like white beige but it comes in black as well it comes in a lot of colors it is super warm and you will see it in the cutaway but I like so you can either show the logo at the front and then you know for example wear it like this showing the logo This is my colors, you know, like this with the outfit I'm wearing today, it looks perfect, like um, cream jeans, a camel top, and then the scarf matching my jeans. And also put this at the back or you wear it on the other side. So for example, let's say you don't want to show the logo today because you're wearing a designer bag already with the logo on it. You just, you know, put the logo at the back and it doesn't show. And I love that. I also love this a bit of exaggerated um, tassels at the end. I think it makes it, you know, a classic um, nice scarf. And um, the price, it is not bad for a designer scarf. It is just above 200 euros. So I think it is another very good buy. And my next scarf, it is a bit more elegant maybe not for every day, um, but it is a sort of like a piece to really cherish with you for your whole life. It is, I'm Italian, so of course I love Fendi, um, and it is a sort of like Fendi scarf cape. So again, you can wear it in so many different ways. You can wear it, for example, on top, of your outfit when you're hosting at home or if you go to a dinner I think it's very elegant but it is also looking really really good on top of your coat so again a very very versatile piece the fabric composition is amazing which reflects on the price of course it is 55% silk and 45% cashmere and I love the color again it's like beige and then all the um, trim around it is brown and what I love is that on one side it is plain and you just have you know the Fendi logo here so if you want to be like understated I think you would wear it on this side while the other side it is the classic all around Fendi logo it is of course more expensive than a um, regular scarf as you can imagine it is but it's not like 
crazy. It is just about a thousand euros price. But to be honest with you, as I said in the beginning, this is a piece that you um, you buy and you cherish with you forever. And it's like a shawl, so you can wear it in so many different ways, you can belt it, just like a very special piece. It's something that you love or you don't love it. It's just like you fall in love with it. Next up, it is a belt, which is not necessarily a winter accessory, but I wanted to include a belt because I always love belts. I wear it all the time. I love a designer belt and I think this one is so special because it is reversible. So it is from Lowy as well. So you can wear it on the brown side, but also on the black side. So basically it's like two for the price of one. And I thought to show you also because this is the same concept belt of my Hermes. So, you know, like the classic Hermes belt with the big H um, is the same. So it's brown on one side and then black on the other side is the different leather. Um, and also, uh, so if you think like, why do you need both? It's because Sometimes, for example, as I said before, I don't like to clash logos. So if I'm wearing the Hermes belt, I wouldn't wear a Chanel bag, for example. So I need to go with a very understated bag or Hermes. Um, so if I want the same concept um, belt, this one is like, there is like the logo, the Lowy logo, but I don't think so many people knows it so you know it just looks for some people i think it just looks a really nice detail it's not necessarily like you know hermes or chanel uh that sometimes i feel i like it but sometimes for some outfits i feel it is too much going into detail i'm wearing a size 85 and if it's perfect for me um you don't have a huge amount of space uh, extra. Don't go to a too small size. And then when you close it, it looks like this. So little piece of extra leather, it goes underneath. And uh, I, I like to be able to play around with my belts. If you go in my channel, there is more, more belts videos. So as I said before, I like to be able to play around with it. If I wear low-waisted, high-waisted, I like to wear it on top of my coats. So I never really go for a very small size. I'd rather have a bigger size and then just go to the cobbler and add a hole. Uh, so that's, I always go for size 85 in my bags. In terms of price, it is around the 350 euros price point. So if you like the Hermes concept, but you don't like the Hermes price point, this is about half price of the Hermes belt. I love the two colors. I think um, it is a very, very good versatile accessory. And last but not least, of course, I had to include jewelry. And when it comes to uh, winter jewelry, of course, I'm wearing all my collection that, by the way, um, it's been a big week for us, a big month, because we were featured on Vogue, uh, on British Vogue. So that was a kind of like a milestone for us to be recognized by Vogue. But anyways, I like to wear more statement jewelry in winter. And again, this is my style, a very simple top with accessories that speak by themselves. In winter, not particularly today, but a lot of times I wear turtlenecks or, you know, round neck or like even with a shirt underneath. I layer a lot because I'm always cold. So I like to have a necklace that I can wear on top of my knits. And in general, I always tend to wear bigger chains necklaces in winter and this particular one that I'm wearing today is, is from our latest collection and you can wear it three ways so for example I'm wearing it this way and you show pearls on one side and chain on the other side but for example you can also wear it like this and it just looks like a pearl necklace you have the chain at the back or you can also wear it 
just with the chain and you put the pearls at the back. So again, I love versatile pieces. So you spend your money, but you can wear things in different ways. So it also kind of always feels fresh, if you know what I mean. And same things for like rings and earrings, because I think that I always wear bracelets, but sometimes when you have like big, big sweaters, you don't really see your bracelets in winter. I think bracelet is probably more of a, um, uh, spring summer things autumn those big turtleneck woolen knits you know you wouldn't and then you you're so cold that you wear your sleeves like really long you don't really show your bracelets but you always show your earrings so I really like to layer and I really like to always kind of have a statement earring in my first hole and then all very small little ones. I have four on this side and three on this side. You can browse my collections with Boutique Minimalist. You're gonna find the link down below and I hope you love them. And uh, that's it for today's video. Feel free to ask me any questions. These are my top winter accessories that I felt I really could recommend you because I've been already wearing them a lot in so many different outfits. You can scroll down my YouTube channel for the latest videos with more inspo with these items but also my Instagram I I post like my daily outfits there so you can see these pieces coming back with different outfit ideas and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed them I would love to hear which ones is your favorite feel free to ask me any questions and don't forget to subscribe to my channel it means a lot Leave me a thumb up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!